Today's video is sponsored by Squarespace. Yep, video three of four this week uh, that I'm filming today. If you have watched the other videos this week, you know all about what's going on. Today is essentially uh, updates with me on multiple projects and ideas and thoughts and just uh, it's therapy week with Matt, I guess. Um, I think it feels good to talk about all of this, I guess, uh, just sort of in a candid, natural way. And I hope you guys are enjoying it. I have no idea because uh, I haven't even edited these. So let's just keep it going. Today, basically, I want to talk about my book. Uh, I'm going to be putting together a new book all on instant film. Um, I had shared in a recent update video, I think it was the Q&A video, where I was planning on working on a book all about my dad and my years working with my dad. Um, but when my mom's health started to decline, um, it just didn't feel like the right time to approach that book because I just want to approach that book with sort of the attention and uh, just care that it deserves because it's a really personal book and I just am not in the right headspace with my mom passing um, to approach that book about my dad who passed a few years ago. So uh, I'll work on those when the time comes, but I needed something a little more lighthearted and fun and creative, and I naturally landed on instant film for that because instant film for me has always had just a special place. It's this really interesting kind of balance of you have this kind of like fun, lighthearted, nostalgic feel to the look of instant film. Like I grew up with my parents always taking Polaroids and like it was just this fun thing. You take the photo, everyone there was passing the photo around. It's this like intimate kind of experience when you're making Polaroids or instant film photos with another person. It's like a shared experience. You take the photo, you wait for it to develop, you see it for the first time with your subject. And even if it's not like a photographer client or photographer and model kind of dynamic, even when it's just you and your family or you and your friends, um, instant film is just this fun, uh, sort of carefree kind of thing. At least that's like the, the way we remember it when it was just so widely used by everybody and not just people who are you know, either photographers or shopping at Urban Outfitters. Like, instant film now has a different kind of feel to it, but for me, I still have this nostalgic attachment to it. Uh, whereas now, instant film is much more expensive, uh, at least some of it is. And at least for me, I really love the idea of it being this one of one, this very like, it's not like roll film where it's a transparency and you're making copies of it and you've got to develop it. It's this one individual self-contained thing that's not going to be reproduced in any way. And so you combine this sort of like precious, one of a kind, original, you know, uh, material with this idea of just this sort of lighthearted and fun and carefree. Um, it's just this really romantic kind of combination, I think, that you get with instant film. And I think that the experience of it leads into what you shoot and how you shoot it. Um, and just the way the photo makes you feel when you look at something in that frame. And in the last 16 or so years, I've shot a lot of instant film, starting with Polaroid 600, but then expanding into Instax film, Peel Apart film, um, all of the different versions of, you know, the Polaroid and then the Impossible Project and then Polaroid Originals and now just Polaroid. Um, you know, I've, I've gone through all of the different kind of waves of instant film over the last 16 years. And because of that, I have just a massive archive of instant film and it's everything in my life, everything from just personal family stuff to going on hikes with my camera and shooting more fine art stuff. Uh, it's just this big mix, and I kind of want the book to celebrate that because instant film for me has always had a place no matter what it is I'm shooting, and I think the different formats are really interesting to work with and, and how that changes the look and feel of the photo. I mean, going from Instax to Polaroid, comparing not just the different frame sizes and, you know, just kind of how that looks, but also the different color palettes and everything, and the cameras that you have access to use those formats with, it all changes the overall feel and look, um, yet somehow instant film always finds a place. And so uh, for this book, I've been going through all of my film, um, which I have. There's six full binders here. 
my Kodak cooler is completely full and I have this one binder that is completely full as well that I've actually already made selections and chosen a lot of photos that are at the very least in consideration for the book. Also, because I know I'm gonna get a lot of questions on this, these are Bessler archival binders. It's what I use to store all of my film, not just instant film, but also roll film. As you can see, it has this plastic cover all the way around, so your film is completely stored inside, away from the light, away from dust getting on anything. Um, it's just a good way to protect your film, protect prints, anything like that. Um, I use these archival sleeves from Printfile. This is the 35-8P. Uh, basically, this will hold eight different small prints up to three and a half by five inches. Uh, this is actually perfect for most instant film. You can do Instax Mini, Instax Wide, Instax Square. You can do Polaroid 600 uh, or SX70 type. You can do pack film or peel apart film. The only film, uh, instant film format, aside from like large instant film, that you can't fit in this is Polaroid Spectra. Um, it's just a little bit too wide. I've never shot much uh, Polaroid Spectra film before, so it doesn't really bother me. Um, but for all of your other instant film, these are great to use. Uh, they fit in a standard three ring binder. I use these with the Bessler archival sleeves, and it just gives me a way to uh, be able to easily flip through my Polaroids. I don't have any of my instant film over the last 16 years organized in any way. It is literally all just a big mix. But being able to just flip through page to page in a binder versus dealing with stacks of Polaroids in shoe boxes and stuff like that, uh, it just makes it a lot easier. So if you want to keep your film at least organized and easy to flip through, um, outside of buying like a dedicated Polaroid album or something like that, this is a really good way to uh, easily you know keep everything stored nicely, uh, and you can always you know expand the storage as you need to, where you can't always do that with like a traditional Polaroid album. Album. And so for this book, I really want just the overall mood or I guess just like the feel of the book to sort of go with that idea of, you know, Polaroids having this fun and lighthearted kind of thing. Like I want this book to be a little less uh, structured or strict in how I, you know, sequence things or, you know, the size of the book or the feel of the book. Like I want all of these different choices to be very fun and feel like it's a very fun book to look through. I don't want this to be anything that's too serious. Uh, I think right now I could use something that's just a lot more lighthearted and fun, but I obviously want, you know, the quality to be there. So uh, I have a lot of different choices to make and I have a lot of books that I can kind of look to for inspiration and reference. Um, what I would like to do in an upcoming video is sort of talk about all of those decisions and show a few different examples of different book choices, you know, that I have on my shelf, uh, basically just to show kind of what those choices do in the end result and how that kind of attributes to the overall feel. Um, I would love to share all of this process on making this book with you guys because it would be a great way for me to, uh, you know, flesh out all of these different ideas. Is it flesh out or flesh out? I don't really know, but basically get all of these ideas out there. Uh, it would be a great way for me to do that. And ultimately I would love for this to be helpful for anybody to make their own book, whether that be instant film or not, just, uh, you know, sharing that whole process. So if you'd like to see some of that, let me know, because that's what I would love to do with this book as well. The same way I'm doing that with the follow-up to friend of mine. I've also been wondering whether or not I want to self-publish this book like I did with a friend of mine or if I want to work with a publisher. I think there's pros and cons to each. Um, I think I know which way I'm going to go and I would love to talk about that in a video as well. So if you're interested in that one, let me know as well. But the final thing I need to do is take care of some bills. So I'm going to tell you about our sponsor today, which is Squarespace. As you all know, Squarespace has been around for a long time. I've been using their service way before they ever sponsored this channel, but it really is the best all-in-one place to build a website. No matter what you need to do with your website, whether that be running an online store, having an email newsletter, showing off a portfolio, anything you can think to make, you can do it with Squarespace with everything built right in. No matter what kind of style or theme you're going for, everything is completely customizable. So you're not just set with another website that looks like somebody else's, you can still make it entirely your own. And if you need help with anything that they have, they have 24-7 award-winning customer service that are always there to help. 
So if you want to try Squarespace out for yourself, you can do so entirely free at squarespace.com. But when you're ready to get signed up, go to squarespace.com slash mattday. That'll get you 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope it was helpful for you. I hope you enjoyed uh, a look at some of these Polaroids here or some of the instant film. You know, I, I vaguely throw out the term Polaroids, but there's a lot of different instant film here. Uh, you will either not care about that or it'll drive you crazy. So let me know in the comments down below. But that's it for today. Uh, I've got one more video I'm going to film right after this, so I'll probably see you in another day or so. But that's it for now. I love you guys. I'll see you next time.